Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a exciting day for people who loves leather bags because I have a very interesting bag that we are going to talk about. And this is part of one of my favorite leather line, which is the Lock Me collection. It's been a while since I have talked about Lock Me series because uh, in my opinion, most of the Lock Me collection that has been launch last year has just been a recreation of the old style so um, i think this is a very uh, different one amongst the lock me collection and please don't get me wrong this is not the most unique bag that you can ever find but i find that it's refreshing to have a new shape for the lock me collection compared to the flap one that we used to have i am talking about the lock and walk collection and um, Lock and Walk, of course, yeah, as I say, is part of the Lock Me collection. And uh, I will discuss more about it if you are interested into more minimalist uh, aesthetics and uh, the people that doesn't love logo so much but wants to show a little bit of it. So uh, if you are interested in this bag, watch until the end because I'm going to discuss everything that you need to know about this bag. Just a quick one, if you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I'm a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore. And this channel is all about Louis Vuitton products, Louis Vuitton updates, and luxury, brand, luxury brands in general. So if this is your kind of thing, please do not forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel. So, Lock and Walk. Lock and Walk is uh, a leather bag. We will start always with the material. The material is a grainy finish cuff leather and cuff leather. Um, it could have a lot of different textures and design, but Lock Me has a very subtle, yet not so flimsy kind of finish. So I like the balance of it being, keeping its shape while being soft if you get what i mean if you if you have a lock me series or you've seen this before you will know what i meant with that sometimes i have problem with explaining things but um that's one thing i like about a lock me series and uh this one is in bucket shape that is not curling on the top unlike neonoe that has that string on top this one is kind of like square-ish bucket so um this is uh, quite unique in that sense although not the most creative as i say before the bag has a pocket in front which uh has this twist lock not the twist that you see in the twist bags i mean you can actually twist over the center part of the lock to be able to open that pocket in front so if you're traveling and you're going to put your passport important things inside not the more secure most secure but better than being open the size is kind of between small and uh large uh i think this is a practical size because you can fit more than your essentials and just to give you the dimension uh the dimensions are length 20 cm and height is 20.5 cm so pretty decent for a medium bag there are two straps that comes with it the first one is a chain the chain is uh, rather short but enough for you to carry it as a shoulder carry and this is how it looks like when it's shoulder carried and the other one is the strap that is adjustable but not to your wanting because there are only two ways to wear it shoulder carry and this is how it look, looks like it's a perfect length for shoulder carry especially for girls who has asian height like me or maybe a little bit taller but the only thing that i didn't like is the uh, long strap because it is too long yeah the, the the second length for this adjustable strap is too long for me and i don't know why they do that in this length because i feel that they already mastered it like the, the length that most people want with let's say lock me tender they have like kind of in between length for the strap that has like this snap button but for some reason they went back to just short that is just nice and super long which is only supermodel height can wear it's a shame because this bag is 
kind of cute as a cross body bag because it's uh, it's not too big to have it cross body so having it in a longer uh strap is uh is yeah such a shame because um would have been another look that people at the same height as me can wear now the most awaited part is what fits inside and i am going to give you the things that may fit inside this is me videoing myself and it's very difficult to video yourself while putting things inside because i only have one hand to do it but i tried my best okay because everyone else is busy so uh, i put the long wallet inside which is the zippy wallet the zippy wallet is the biggest wallet that you will find with uh, louis vuitton so it's the bulkiest and the biggest wallet so it can fit horizontally so that's a thing that's how spacious it is and i tried to put the cosmetic pouch and this is one of my favorite uh, cosmetic pouch i've ever seen because it's in denim it's very cute as i say i struggle a little bit but you know tried my best and uh, my phone and this is how it all looks like inside you still have a lot of space for your other things well i mean you have the cosmetic pouch already so what else can you put inside and the pocket of course this is how it looks like when you open it you can put uh, maybe a small card holder or other things that is in your need uh, it has this clasp the magnetic clasp uh, that kind of secured your bag so it wouldn't be that open now for um, the colors available there is actually a um, three colors but in Singapore we only brought in two which is the quartz and the noir which is the black but there's a cognac color which is the brown but I didn't see it in the store for some reason I maybe they didn't include it in um south asia buy maybe i don't know maybe it's coming soon but the funny part not funny i mean it happens all the time that uh the the noir and the quartz are different prices and i'm gonna tell you why later let's discuss first the black the black is 4250 it is in gold uh hardware and a cuff leather and the quartz is 4450 and the only difference that you will see is the logo because this logo has a um, nml lv turn lock not twist sorry turn lock it's actually turn lock so the nml logo is um the logo that you see in front it has this nml coating it is actually elegant that way comparing to the black one which is just a metal gold so that is the extra 200 that you're paying it's up to you to decide if it's worth it or not if you see the value of the look of it um i like the white better it looks more unique more eye-catching but yeah it's 200 more for uh, a prettier bag if the brown one is here actually i liked it too but the black is all right like it's very normal for people who want to play it safe it's okay but um yeah overall i like the white my personal opinion about it is this is a practical bag i find it simple and elegant i find it very versatile i can imagine it having to use with an office corporate look um a casual look that is elegant enough sleek and clean look i can also see this for people who are edgy this is the customer profile that i can think of however if you think you are not that but you like this bag there's no problem with it because you know yourself better it's just like if for my day-to-day -day encounter with clients these are the th people that i think that would all uh, love this bag also the moms i think this is a very practical bag for the moms the lock is just the magnet uh the length of the shoulder carry is uh just nice so it's easy to match it's easy to grab and grow go uh you can even put the two most required thing to put in a bag in singapore which is the water bottle and the umbrella <laughs> so yeah i think this is worth it 4250 4450 less than 5000 for a leather bag i think it's okay because uh, you'll be surprised how many bags nowadays in louis vuitton 
are priced with a 6,000 and above, even for an epi leather, which is epi leather are usually one of the most affordable uh, leather in Louis Vuitton. So love me for 4,450 in this size. I think it's okay. And I would suggest this because it's timeless. This kind of bags never go out of style. It looks vintage and modern at the same time. So uh, I highly recommend this bag. And um, if you like it, I would highly encourage you to come to the store and try it so yeah that's all i can say about it it's late at night and if you haven't noticed i'm in my sleeping t-shirt <laughs> because i just came back from work and um video must go on even though i'm feeling very lazy and under the weather lately <laughs> And yeah, enough of my rant and I hope you like this video. Please support and subscribe and like this video. Uh, yeah, to help with my algorithms to help reach more people like you. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok to keep yourself more updated with the latest and the hottest collection in the store. And I will see you on the next one.